Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm on a walk here in the French Alps, uh, looking for some photos. Just make the most of uh, being out here. So today I would like to speak about this little camera that I bought myself a while ago. I used to be a real full frame snob, like I was convinced that uh, bigger is necessarily better all the time. But I would like to speak about why I kind of underestimated uh, micro four thirds for taking landscape pictures. So let's go for a walk together, come on. So throughout the video I'm going to take some pictures of the landscape around me, mainly with the 60mm lens that I've got on my Micro Four Thirds camera, which would be 120mm equivalent on a full frame. So when I bought this Olympus camera, the Micro Four Thirds camera, it was mainly because I was looking for something lighter, cheaper to be honest, and uh, like a convenient way for me to take pictures of the flowers, to take macro photography in the botanical garden. But then I started to use it as well for landscape photography. And I'm pretty sure that uh, by now we all are aware of uh, the differences between full frame and micro four thirds. I don't want to speak about that too much. But today I'm going to point out three reasons why I've really grown quite fond of micro four thirds for landscape photography. But first let's keep on walking a bit. The first reason why I really like the Micro Four Thirds camera for landscape photography is the size and the portability. I'm able to take it with me at the bottom of my rucksack and I don't need to worry when I'm going for long hikes because in the past I often found it quite a burden to have my Nikon D800 with me, like with the lens, maybe two or three lenses. It was just really hard to carry all of that, especially when then you have a lot of gear for being outdoors, the clothes, you have a rucksack, tent, you know, maybe even a heating stove or something for cooking. So I really like the fact that it's much lighter than my previous kind of equipment. Next thing I really appreciate is the image stabilization, the IBIS on uh, Micro Four Thirds cameras, or at least on my camera. I have to admit, I am comparing it to a Nikon D800, so it wasn't very hard to make it better than that. It's amazing, I'm able to really leave my tripod at home a lot of the time nowadays, just to shoot handheld. I really appreciate that. I mean, I'm not going to stop using tripods, but for now it's really refreshing to be able to take pictures uh, just like that and not worry too much about having shaky images. And I mean, I understand absolutely if it's too dark or at night, I won't be able to shoot handheld. That's absolutely understood. But just for my everyday kind of hiking or walking uh, kind of photos, uh, that's really appreciated. And then finally, the weather sealing of these cameras is really good. If you know something about Micro Four Thirds or Olympus cameras, I'm sure you've heard that the weather sealing is great. You can leave them out in the pouring rain. I mean, uh, it's not recommended, but uh, you might be able to get away with it. Yeah, that's uh, really great as well, because when you're outdoors, obviously, when you're going for long hikes, uh, you might be exposed to the elements. The same cannot be said about the camera that I'm filming on right now which is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So unfortunately, I've got a little bit of a discrepancy between my photography gear, which is really good with the weather sealing, and my filming equipment. But, you know, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> So 
So yeah, overall I'm really happy with my Micro Four Thirds gear at the moment for landscape photography. I mean, in the long run, I'm probably still going to go back to full frame if I get to spend more time outdoors, like doing landscape photography specifically. I mean, right now I needed a compromise, uh, which wasn't uh, too expensive and uh, with which I can do both macro really well, which is light, uh, just for my circumstances right now. So that's where this kind of system is perfect. In the long run, I'm, I have to admit that uh, I would be very tempted by the Nikon Z8, uh, but uh, weight wise and uh, especially money wise, that's a completely different story. So that's something for the very long run once they get a little bit cheap on the used market, maybe. So let me know if you use uh, Micro Four Thirds or a different kind of system for landscape photography and uh, what your thoughts are about these kind of cameras. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.